In this video, we will look at a supersonic jet that doesn't go very fast. But perhaps that's the key factor that will make this impossible project successful. This is the Arion supersonic business jet. Hey, it's me, Nick here. Subscribe if you like to see more videos all about things future, aviation, and never built. Okay, onto the video. Arion Supersonic, a Reno, Nevada-based aviation firm, is tackling the supersonic puzzle differently from competitors Boom, Spike, and Virgin Galactic. Supersonic flight has one massive drawback, supersonic booms. If Arion can create an aircraft that doesn't have a rolling wall of sound trailing it, then perhaps they can avoid falling under the noise bands and their aircraft can be permitted to fly over land a huge roadblock that has prevented supersonic commercial aircraft for decades. Arion has claimed that it has developed boomless cruise capabilities that could see it flying at Mach 1.2 or so under certain conditions without massive pressure wave of sonic boom ever reaching the ground. An impressive feat if true. The Arion SBJ Keys Enabling Technology, Supersonic Natural Laminar Flow, has been conclusively demonstrated in transonic wind tunnel tests and in supersonic flight tests conducted in conjunction with NASA. The road to bringing this concept to market has been long for the company, with Arion completely redesigning the concept almost from scratch halfway through development. The first version of the Arion supersonic business jet was introduced in 2011 for $1.4 billion development, anticipating a 250 to 300 aircraft civil market over the next 10 years. It had two engines that would push 8 to 12 passengers up to Mach 1.3 and up to 4,000 nautical miles, perfect for transatlantic journeys. The concept was a big winner, with Arion securing 50 deposits with letters of intent, with each aircraft costing 80 million apiece. But during the development of the project, they ran into several massive design changes. Arion increased the aircraft's takeoff weight and the length to accommodate and meet customer expectations, and increased the number of jet engines from two to three to meet new noise guidelines. This new version, capable of a maximum speed of Mach 1.6, has been designed to travel at two optimal cruising speeds where range and efficiency are at their best. Mach 0.95, where supersonic flight is prohibited, and at Mach 1.4, where the wing characteristics will be at their most efficient. This new aircraft will be able to carry up to 12 passengers to a range of 4,200 nautical miles at its top speed, or 5,400 nautical miles when flying at Mach 0.95, at a height of 57,000 feet. This will mean that the aircraft will be perfect for trips across the Atlantic, as well as throughout Southeast Asia, one of the primary markets of the type. For those wondering how this aircraft will tackle the fuel problem, the AS-2 is the first supersonic jet designed to be powered 100% by synthetic fuel, with the firm partnering up with a provider to tackle the incredible issue of fuel burn. According to Arion, they forecast a market for up to 300 AS-2s over the next 10 years and 500 overall at a price of $120 million each. A faster Mach 1.6 version of this aircraft with a larger cabin, longer range could also follow as a business jet or even a small airliner, but will need new engines to go above the speed of Mach 1.8. To keep the boom as quiet as possible, Arion would incorporate tech from the NASA Low Boom Flight Demonstrator program, although they're not going to use it in the current version at the moment. Arion has been partnering up with various different aerospace firms to try and build this aircraft, with the likes of Bombardier being interested in 2004, then Airbus and followed by Lockheed Martin. Airbus pulled out and then the deal with Lockheed expired in 2019. 
On the February the 5th of this year, Boeing stepped in with its announcement to invest in Arion and will provide engineering, manufacturing and flight test resources to introduce the AS2, maintaining a 2023 date for a first flight. Boeing gained two seats on Arion's five-person board, while the amount of its investment was undisclosed. Although Arion is still sticking to the story that it is investing $4 billion into the project, and none of its partners will have to invest. A private aviation firm, Flexjet, confirmed that they had actually placed an order at valued at $2.4 billion for 20 Arion AS2s back in 2015. This delivery was set at 2025. Flexjet CEO Ken Rickey said that the company would use the supersonic jets for overseas flights and also in China, which does not have restrictions on sonic booms. These jets would be sold like timeshares to customers in the club who would be able to use it for a certain amount of flights per year and share the costs. Production will ramp up from 12 in 2026 to 23 in 2027 and should stabilize at 36 aircraft per year from 2028, although they have not ruled out increasing it up to four per month. The main production plant will be built in Florida near Cape Canaveral Space Center to take advantage of the engineering talent in the area. The most recent update for this video is in September when the production team moved to France for wind tunnel testing. Let's hope that this time Arion is able to get the AS2 project out the door before overhauling the design yet again. Now for my personal thoughts on this project. Arion has become a bit of a darling in the business and the aviation industry with a more simple dream of a quicker jet than other business jets on the market, without it being so fast as to cause too many problems with a sonic boom. The only problem is in this industry, it's all about speed and if Arion's aircraft is not faster than its competition, and it doesn't make it to the market before them, like Boom Supersonic, who is showing off their prototype on October 9th, so tune in for that, then they might find that these 50 orders for the AS2 will evaporate into thin air. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate all the new viewers and subscribers who have come with me on this found and explained journey. And I'm trying my best to produce the best quality videos I can for you here every week. So let me know down in the comments what you think of today's video. And if you want to hang around to see more, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.